All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In The Game. I am your host, Hustle, and as always, we're gonna dive into the markets. We're gonna dive into the hottest narrative right now, and then I do think the money will pivot back to gaming with a lot of catalysts around the corner, but right now, everyone's focused on AI with a big AI event right around the corner. We're actually 10 days away as of today, so we're gonna go over that. We're gonna go over Bitcoin hitting all-time highs again and getting rejected, where I see the market going, but more importantly, the AI coins that I am looking at in this market to continue a run up to March 18th. So without further ado, let's jump in the game. As always, guys, drop down, hit that like button and subscribe for more every single day here on In The Game. And we're trying to hit that 100K mark. Help us out down below. Hit that subscribe button and like the video. It helps us get this video out in front of more people just like yourself who are bullish on crypto gaming and AI altcoins. And of course, shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. Vulcan Forged, Ultra, Game Starter. We have Dreams Quest, Uncaged, Linea, Fontico, My Lovely Planet. Africa Rare, NordVPN, and our exchange partners. You can find links down below in the description for all of our sponsors. And we'll touch on some sponsor updates here at the end of the show. But as mentioned, we did hit another all-time high, all high today. Then it immediately rejected. I think we're going to be in this battle for a couple times when we press up to that. But last time it went down to 62K earlier this week. Currently, we're sitting at 68K, not as big of a rejection here from these all-time highs, so that's good to see. I think that this is going to eventually burst through. It's just a matter of time. Too much bullish narratives going on around the halving, and you know, it's really nice to also see some altcoins doing well in this market. We'll go over what's doing well in just a second, but there was some big news this week across the gaming landscape for some of our favorite projects. Number one, we have Portal. Portal is excited to announce the Portal Dota 2 World Invitational. So Portal is partnering up with Dota, which is one of the you know premier mainstream esports games in the Web 2 space. Pretty huge announcement here. Like, you know, I'm not... I was in, I'm, I was an early investor in Portal, and I, I have to say I'm super bullish on like their ideology. But I want to see more, and this is definitely something that's going to make me, you know, even more bullish than I already was. But you know, with the price action, we'll see where this thing goes. But regardless, this is a pretty big announcement when it comes to the Web three gaming space and another project that's trying, you know, not just trying. They're integrating their token into many different ecosystems. Is Superverse? Superverse also just partnered up with Metalcore. So now they're working with My Pet Hooligan. They're working with Off the Grid. They're working with Metalcore. It's going to be interesting to see the super ecosystem as well as the portal ecosystem grow over time. We have Heroes of Mavia, um, you know, my favorite mobile game in the space right now. I, it's it's the one game that I have to say I almost play every single day when it comes down to it. I use my Solana phone, so I, I separate it. I'm not a degen on my, on my main phone whenever I'm, uh, you know, with my girlfriend or something like that. I don't get killed because I'm playing too much Heroes of Mafia. Three million downloads across, you know, the worldwide downloads across App Store and Google Play. Huge milestone here. And I know the team is cooking behind the scenes. Much more to come for the Mavia token. And this one's also been taking a jump in the markets today as well. We have Citus Pad. I'm very bullish on Citus. I think that right now is a great time to scoop up that dip on Senate. And I still think Citus has a long way to go. Their Citus Pad is about to go live. So the ultimate Web3 launch pad with functional KYC and fresh staking pools will be here before you know it. And then last but not least, we see Altura. You know, Altura has been one of our better trades as just far as a narrative play. We caught it near its lows of this cycle uh, and it almost hit that 10. I think we get to that 10 cent mark here really soon with some of their upcoming announcements. They just launched a creator, streamer and gamer program called Enter. Uh, and this is actually ready to go right now. So if you're interested, you can hit this link on their Twitter page. But a lot of bullish narratives going on in the market. Uh, last show, I said that winter was probably a pretty good buy. And as we see here, it's up 22% on the 24 hours. We see Heroes of Mavia up 16% on the 24 hours, as mentioned. Shout out to Vulcan Forge. 
Vulcan Forge hit $10 yesterday. It's hovering around that 950, 970 range today. But man, we, we did catch the lows here as well. That $273 area where we were DCAing in the bear market has really paid off. And I mean, the work that they're doing behind the scenes has really paid off. I was I was going to cover it at the end, but very bullish stuff coming around the corner for potential buy pressure on the peer token, which we'll talk about at the end of the show. So big shout out to Vulcan. We see Ronin taking another leg up here. They took a dip after that Binance listing, and now we're kind of seeing that trend back up. Aether Games. So this is a brand new launch. We saw this one launch yesterday. We've been looking forward to this one for quite a while. Pretty solid launch. Um, you know, $218 million market cap on the fully diluted only an 11 million circulating market cap. So the way I see this, this one could be a pretty good play for the next three months. That's the next token unlock. So there was a TGE unlock. We have three months to look ahead. And that's whenever you're going to see more pre-sale investors get their tokens unlocked. So could be a, a, a decent short-term trade there. We see Shrapnel back over 30 cents. I mentioned last show, that was a fantastic buy. Mix Mob at 12 cents. Magnum Trading has almost... 1.5x to doubled since we brought it to the show here, uh, which has been awesome to see. We have Immutable pushing $3.40. So as you see, like there's just so much going on in the market for the altcoins that we're in on. We see Champ steady around that 0 0.006364 area. C defies pushing back up towards 450. Superverse, as I mentioned, is a dollar fifty today. We have Beam at four cents. So there's a lot to be bullish about in this market, and that's just the gaming side. I didn't even mention some of the craziness that's going on in the AI sector. So we look at the seven-day charts on AI, and we have 98% gainers, 70% gainers, and these are multi-hundred million dollar market caps. So let's dive into the biggest narrative right now in crypto, and that is AI. And the reason being is when NVIDIA makes noise, the crypto degens flock to these AI tokens. And as we know, coming up, the GTC AI conference. And if we see here, the founder and CEO of NVIDIA will have his keynote Monday, March 18th. So this is coming up right around the corner. And NVIDIA has asserted themselves as one of the dominant forces in just business in general, let alone AI, computing, everything like that. So whenever we look across the board here, and I actually need, I had put this together quickly, but first and foremost, you know, we caught the render nearly the lows during the bear market. This thing's $11. So as far as our preliminary early trades that we took, we got into render around that $3 mark. It's now $11. So shout out to anyone who tailed us into that one. We got into Ocean at $0.27. Cents. So this one's at $1.20. And we got into Echelon Prime very cheap as well. But I'm going to go over why I don't think Prime is done. So I have three main plays in the AI sector right now. And look, I'm not going to be looking at the big guys. Like we already took our position on Ocean. We already took our position on Render. I'm not going to chase the Tau. I mean, Tau a few months ago was 200 It's now $721 per token. I'm looking more in this bottom half here for the smaller stuff that I could see really solid growth from. So number one, Wilder World. These are in no order. Um, I'm, I'm going to go over these you know, step by step here. But speaking of NVIDIA, just this week, they announced their cloud gaming partnership with NVIDIA GeForce Now, which is their GPU side, like graphics cards, etc. We're excited to announce our giant leap forward in accessibility through a groundbreaking collaboration in NVIDIA GeForce Now. This partnership will ensure Wilder World is accessible to all, breaking free from hardware limitations. So this is a really solid update. Wilder World is a really advanced game and an advanced product. There's going to be AI integrations. The graphics here are AAA level, without a doubt. I've played this. Bryson and I were actually down in, uh, at Art Basel a few months ago. We got to play the Midnight in Miami driving experience, and the graphics are next level. So the fact that NVIDIA is now working with them to bring this to all devices it's a super bullish uh, catalyst for Wilder World in general. Let's take a look at the price action here. So first and foremost, I I've seen the comments over the year when AI doesn't or when when um, Metaverse isn't hot, this token has traditionally kind of lagged behind. So if we look back last year, 
right before the Apple Vision Pro announcement, this went from 24 cents to 50 cents. Then it dropped back down to 19 cents. And a lot of people lost conviction. I've always said this looks like the best open world game that I have seen to date in Web3. And as we see, anyone who bought these lows, and I've been in my position, my, my average price here is 33 cents, okay? 33 cents is my entry on Wilder World. This thing pumps up here to 63, comes back down and gave us another opportunity. Now we're looking at it recently, it hit like 85 cents. Sitting at 78 cents right now, still only a $390 million market cap. I do think this is a really good opportunity. It's about 2x below Ocean. It's about 4x below Singularity Net, which I'm going to be honest, I, I think Singularity Net is overvalued, a little bit overhyped. I think that Fetch, Ocean, Render are way better products. So I actually still think there's opportunity here with Wilder World. I would not be surprised to see this pass $1 in the very, very short term. Number two, you guys know how bullish I am on Parallel Colony. So look, I'm not a big AI or I'm not a big trading card game person. So Parallel took the gaming space by storm over the summer when they launched their trading card game. And it definitely is the best trading card game in Web3. But now we have Parallel Colony coming through the door, which is an AI colony builder powered by Unreal Engine 5. This game right here is much more my speed, my interest. I, you know, playing today the game, AI Arena. These types of games are much more compelling to me than like a trading card game. So when you look at something like Parallel, whenever this game launches, I just see them capturing so much market share from the AI crypto degens coming over to the gaming space and then vice versa. The gaming degens get their exposure to this token from the AI integrations that they're doing with Colony. So as we see, 428 million market cap. It is a 1.8 billion fully diluted. I truly think that Echelon Prime is going to prove itself to be the Axie Infinity-esque token of this cycle. Now they have competition, all right? Pixel, Mavia, Prime. Those are the three right now alongside Off the Grid when it launches. So Guns token. Those are the four that have the chance to be from the bottom to the top the best performing token in this bear. Now let's go to the one year charts here. You know, this token has done numbers, right? From the lows here at $1.20, this is about a 14X from the bottom. But I genuinely think that Prime can be the axi of this cycle. Add in the AI integrations, this thing could, like we could see three, four, five billion fully diluted just in the next six months, in my opinion, from this token and the appreciation, this thing has never taken a substantial dip and not getting bought up. I think that this is one of the safest plays in gaming and AI, given the growth potential that I still believe it has. Disclosure, we got in in the summer here, $2.77. So this one has run quite a bit, but you have to understand valuation still gives this a little bit of upside. So Prime, I think, could be a huge winner in the AI space. And then we have Balance AI. Balance AI, we caught this one. We shouted it out a couple weeks ago on the AI show that you guys loved, by the way. that I mean, that show almost has 50,000 views today. So I know you guys want the AI alpha. We gave you the AI alpha here with Balance AI. And let's go take a look at that price action. This has been crazy to watch. Uh, we got you guys in here around $7.50. We'll just call it that. Uh, and this one is now at $16. But the key here, it's still a $48 million circulate or uh, diluted market cap. Absolutely insane growth potential. It is 4X undervalued OPSEC, which is getting a lot of hype in the space. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of OPSEC. Uh, I, I just don't. I don't know. Not really in my scope at this moment in time. It's 10x undervalued PAL AI, which has had a really nice run as well. And then if we look at stuff like, like Singularity Net, it's 40x undervalued Singularity Net. And I genuinely think Balance AI is a Tau early level type of play. I think that this could easily hit $30 in the next couple of months, just to be completely honest with you. This is my number one low market cap AI play of this cycle. And if I have to give a sleeper, 
If I have to give a sleeper, it's going to be Optimus AI. The reason being is every single time that Elon tweets about AI, he, he one of the, their AI names is Optimus. So he, he always tweets about it. And that's where this meme came through the door. 41 million market cap. The meme coin degens could eventually send this if Optimus AI, Elon Musk gets really hot. So this is my sleeper. My three main plays right now in the AI sector, other than render and ocean, but we just caught these so early. And we've been talking about all of these tokens, but the thing is conviction pays, right? We had conviction and render through the ups and the downs, and now we're you know almost 4x up on our position. Same with ocean. This thing was trending around our buy price for a long time. We're now almost at a 5x on this position. Echelon Prime, Wilder World, Balance AI, and Optimus AI would be my plays at this point in time. But you also have to understand, I'm not going to go into 10 AI tokens because I delve in the gaming space. But from a narrative standpoint, the biggest narratives in this next cycle, in my opinion, gaming, AI, real world assets, slash D-Pin. I, I think those are the, I'm going to call it three niches, like R RWA, D-Pin, kind of fall hand in hand a little bit. So gaming, AI, deep in. Those are the narratives I see taking the biggest legs up in this cycle. So I'm going to have exposure across multiple, multiple of these sectors. So I'm spreading my bets across five or so AI tokens. And those are some of the ones I see probably the maximum growth potential. And I'm not going to, like, I, like, I'm so convicted on what balance AI is doing that I think that this could hit 30 bucks in the short term and probably 5x from here in the long term, without a doubt. That would put this at $80 a token. And if you watch this show, you guys know I'm very conservative when it comes to these things. A lot of people out there will say this will 10x, 20x. I think 30 bucks is easy. I think 80 bucks is genuinely not out of the question. So those are the AI tokens I'm looking at the most currently with the NVIDIA conference right around the corner. And then let's start to wrap this up Going into the next stage of the market, there's a few TGEs coming up that I'm really taking a look at. We just had Aether Games and Portal launch. I'm looking forward to the Entangle launch. This is going to be an awesome project, guys. This is a Layer 1-esque type of project, uh, Layer 0-esque type of project. Yields, different types of interoperability between chains. I think this is going to definitely be a sleeper when it comes to launch. People are going to be definitely awake to what they're doing. Sleeper awake. I had to use that little terminology there. Uh, Arcade, we see Arcade. I had them on the show a couple weeks ago. Their token is launching later this month. They have some huge KOLs and huge investors behind this thing. I think once again, just like I said with Entangle, once this goes live, I think you're going to see a lot of Arcade all over your timelines. And then Second World Games, their token is coming up as well. They're doing these loot boxes. They're free mints to different communities. And if you have these loot boxes, you can actually get an allocation into the token. So this is a brand new gaming studio, kind of like our sponsor, Funtico, in a way. They're doing really cool initiatives, getting this out to people, cool prizes, and they're going to give people token allocations with these NFTs. There's a 5,000 collection supply, and there's 4,000 community troops. So those are going out to different communities. Really cool ecosystem here. I would definitely recommend having on your radar Entangle, Arcade, and Second World Games. Let's get into uh, another way you can get into something early, but it's not an early IDO or an early uh, token sale, and that's Dega. We've been talking about this one for quite a while. But over the next quarter from now, this one's going to start to wrap up, and you want to get those rewards. And what people, I think, lack to understand is – you're getting these stake tokens at a pre-market valuation price. So this is the same thing as buying a token in its early stages. But all you really have to do, uh, and you can see they have this live across Polkadot, Ethereum, and Meld. So this is on four blockchains currently. You just come in here. You choose which you know main net you want to use, Ethereum, for example. You just stake exactly the token you want, typically you stake the staked ETH token, and then you go ahead and you stake and you start earning the Dega token live. So I think it's a really good opportunity. If you live in the USA, for example, and you don't have a lot of access to 
IDOs, launch pads, pre-sales, et cetera. This could be a really good opportunity to catch a token in its pre-market stages. And then on the NFT front, see, I'm giving you guys all the alpha today. Tokens, we got pre-sales, IDOs, ISPOs. And now uh, this is an upcoming project called the Tipsy Company. Their Nova Frontier campaign is live now. They have an NFT sale coming up. You can literally just go to their link tree, check it out, and you can register for the NFT mint in that link. So a lot of alpha for you there, whether you're an NFT degen, uh, early token degen, or you're just looking for new tokens on the market, we have you covered. And then shout out to our sponsors here on In The Game, Volcanomics. And I mean, hey, like I said earlier, Vulcan just hit 10 bucks yesterday. Our bags are very happy here on in the game, right? Uh, and and they have their their car racing game, which looks fantastic, coming to the launch pad. And this is just a scenario, but suppose a project does three million in sales on the launch pad. That means five percent of their sales automatically go into buybacks for one hundred and fifty thousand. If that in that scenario, so the, that's a very very bullish catalyst for the PYR token. So. I expect more bullish activity moving forward. And honestly, with the fundraising mechanisms that they're bringing to the table, I, I, I'm super stoked to what Vulcan has up their sleeves. We have Ultra, who this is a big game changer for them. They just came out with their Chrome extension where you can buy and store Ultra, interact with dApps, securely sign transactions with zero added fees, accessible to millions of users worldwide. You can literally jump into this right now. You just click the link on their on their Twitter page. You can find their information down below in the description and download Ultra before Project Citadel. I'm telling you guys, Project Citadel is going to be fantastic coming only exclusively to the Ultra launcher. We have GameStarter who had a fantastic February. They're making so much noise over here at GameStarter. I'm so bullish. The, the fantastic thing about this is all my sponsors, like I'm genuinely bullish on their ecosystems, their tokens. It's a really good spot to be in working with partners that you just genuinely support. They closed 15 plus partnerships this month, streamer incubation program. They sold out their in-house game over trips mint. As you can see here, they partnered up with different games like Pixelmon, Ultiverse, Vendetta, which we've been talking about here. Corpo, Basketball Verse, Blast Runners, which was one of the hype mints on Blast this month. So really good strides that they're taking over at GameStarter as well. Last but not least, Africa Rare. I had to use this one last because they are doing some custom AI work in an AI show. This is definitely the cherry on top for a sponsor here. Uh, but they're navigating the metaverse with custom AI. So Africa Rare, they're doing a lot of things with the metaverse, with land plots in Africa, a, a lot of cool things in this ecosystem, but they're doing their own Africa Rare AI builder. You can check this out on Cryptopolitan. I think, yeah, that's how you say it. Uh, on this, it's a nice little article about exactly how you can unleash your creativity in the digital realm using AI in Africa Rare. So links down below in the description for all of our sponsors. We're going to hop out of here for the day, guys. Like um, today is not a day where I'm buying a lot. Um, if I'm going to look across the board, shout out to Root Network, hit 10 cents. We've been shouting this one out. So nice little leg up there. I'm not buying too much today. I think Koneko is a pretty good buy. Uh, GFAL looks pretty tasty on this dip. I think Playable Games has, this is like accumulation levels right here. Whenever it takes its next leg up, I'm really excited to see where it heads from here. Wombat, but uh, Cap Games under 10 cents is looking pretty good. I think ScarQuest, Senate, those are some pretty good DCAs today. But today is one of those days where my bags are pumping, and I'm really excited about it. We're going over the AI tokens for you. If you enjoyed the show, like the video, subscribe down below, and I'll be back on Monday. Hopefully, we press through these all-time highs this weekend. So Monday's show, we can maybe maybe have a little bit of fun and, and enjoy the market that has presented itself to us. So guys, like and subscribe. I'll be back Monday. As always, play well, my friends.